Hello everyone, this is Al Kabir, the analyst, and today I want to talk about Lord Bronson gets love from AJ Brown. Also want to talk like Tay Gowan putting in that work. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. Let's let's get into Lord Bronson getting love from AJ Brown. This is big, especially for the content creator community. You see guys like Philly Mike get interviews with Davion Taylor. You see guys like Joe Castro interview Derek Gunn. So you're seeing the YouTube content creators come up. Interviewing is not really my thing as much. Um, I, I just like talking about talking and that's it. But these guys are coming up. These guys are definitely coming up. And um, for AJ Brown to ask for the Hurt Seasons hat shows where Lord Bronson started and where he's at now. I was one of those guys. I was on his side when he dropped the Hurt Seasons hat. At the time, a lot of people was against it. It was because it was before the draft. And I remember people kept saying, oh, y'all going to get Justin Fields or Matt Jones or one of these quarterbacks that's coming out, Zach Wilson. I'm like, yo, if we get any of these dudes, that don't make sense. That really don't make sense. So um, he took a huge risk. Because he did it before the draft. We end up getting Devontae Smith. He like, see, I told y'all Jalen Hurts is here. I remember him even saying the the team he worked with was like, you know, I, I don't know about this, Lord Bronson, this hurt season thing. You know, I'm hearing rumors that y'all might get a quarterback. This this might not work out. And he kept fighting. He like, trust me, Jalen Hurts is going to be the quarterback for at least this year. They're going to see what he can do. And the year starts, Jalen Hurts go 9-8, nine, nine and eight, take us to the playoffs. Pretty disappointing playoff debut, but it happens. But the Hurts season's hats was very, very successful to go from, I don't know about them Hurts season's hats, to A.J. Brown hitting them up like, yo, what's up with them Hurts season's hat, man? So um, salute to Lord Bronson, man. He, he's doing big things out here. I've been following him for years, but to see him go from where he started to where he at now, it definitely give a lot of content creators like myself and many others hope like, man, this is the future. Give it about three, three to five years. You're going to see more NFL players interviewing with um, YouTube content creators more than the national media i give it about three to five years you're gonna see philly mike probably 70 80 k subs lord bronson gonna be like right there like joey shakes and those guys they're gonna have a lot and a lot of subscribers and a lot of impact so a lot of the younger guys are going to want to interview with the lord bronson's the philly mice and things like that i believe that's the future but salute to him once again. Salute to my guy, Lord Bronson. He's he's working for real, for real. All right, let's get into Tay Gowan. Tay Gowan is um that that's a guy. If we didn't get James Bradbury, that was a guy I wanted to see start. I mean, he was in that draft with J.C. Horn, um, Eric Stoles, you know, Patrick Sertan, and things like that. At worst, I thought he was going to go third round but he went sixth round got traded to the philadelphia eagles and i'm like maybe this is his time to shine he come to us we don't really have a cb2 i think he's he's going to get his opportunity i'm just not sure when i'm just not sure when and i'm telling you he's going to be one of those guys that's going to have a great camp i don't think he's going to start over james bradbury but i think it's going to be a lot of good stuff coming out about tate gowan he got the size. He got the speed. Um, he moves very well. His tackling ability is, is mid, but I, I believe he's good enough to be at least uh, a CB2. Once again, the size, the speed, the way he moves. I see him working. And th this guy is a guy to watch out for. I'm, I'm telling you. <clears throat> Tay Gowan is the guy. I know we like the other cornerbacks on the team, but I, I like this guy. I like this guy. Um, just unfortunate that he's not really getting opportunities because last year, 
had Steven Nelson this year. We get James Bradbury. It's hard for me to say, yeah, he should start over one of those guys. So, um, but he's going to get his opportunity. I, I think he's going to get his opportunity, and I think he's going to get it with the Philadelphia Eagles. James Bradbury might just be a one-year deal thing. We'll see how he play and if we extend him. And also, Darius Slay is getting older. Guys like him. Zach McPherson and things like that are getting groomed for those spots. But besides the Darius Slay and James Bradbury, he's probably the next bigger cornerback. But if you look at that cornerback draft with the J.C. Horns and things like that, Tate Gowan was mentioned. A lot of people thought Tate Gowan was the dark horse, and he would probably be one of the best cornerbacks in that draft. He just didn't get the opportunity to show it, but... I think he's going to get his opportunity. But my guy's putting that work. I believe in this guy. But what do you think and how do you feel about Lord Bronson? Lord Bronson, YouTube content creator, doing his thing. AJ Brown, showing him love with his product with the Hurt Seasons. Hats, salute to him. And also, Tay Gowan, putting in that work. But this is Al Kabir, the analyst. Ghost.